What's going on YouTube? It's Jesse coming back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to start landing copywriting clients easily. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about email copywriting, inbound closing, and creating your own info product, low ticket or high ticket. If you're not part of the Facebook group, definitely go get in there right now. Links in the description. Join the group. It's one of the fastest growing groups for people that want to create their own info product, low ticket or high ticket, want to get into email copywriting or want to start inbound closing for clients. It's the fastest way to quit your job or to scale your existing business. So here's how you get email copywriting clients easily. I'm going to share my screen. All right, I built a badass <laughs> diagram on how you're going to do this. Now, most people on the internet overcomplicate the shit out of just getting what you want, a client, right, in any business, but specifically for getting a copywriting client. Um, that you're going to write their daily broadcast emails. Writing daily broadcast emails for clients is one of the easiest, most branded things you'll ever do. It's so easy. You get paid 50 to $400 per email that you write. But how I would do it and how I do it currently is I would go to LinkedIn first of all. LinkedIn's easy to do in bulk. Instagram is more of a sniper approach. Facebook is a great way if you don't want to do cold email. Cold email is the best way to get clients in my personal opinion, but if you don't want a cold email, Facebook's the way to do it. Now, I'll exp I've been, I'm going to go into insane detail on how to do this with this diagram here. So, what you're going to want to do, let's just say you go the LinkedIn route. You do not need to optimize your profile. You don't have to because you're going to be cold emailing people. So, when they get your cold emails, they're not really going to think you got it from LinkedIn. Does that make sense? So, they're going to think that you just got their email from somewhere. They don't know it's LinkedIn. So they're not necessarily going to come check out on your LinkedIn profile. So if you're someone that just doesn't want to update your profile, you're lazy, this is the way to go with LinkedIn. Now, I would recommend you update your LinkedIn profile to make it look like, okay, you're an email copywriter, so that when they come check you out, they're going to see it all It all matches up. You got They got the email from you about your being an email copywriter. They look at your LinkedIn, you're an email copywriter. But you don't have to because they're not going to know where you're coming from. You got their email from LinkedIn, but they're not going to know that. Now, what you're going to want to do is how, how do you get these email addresses? You go to LinkedIn, you purchase LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is $100 per month. But considering the alternatives, $100 a month is not a whole lot of money. When you got the alternatives being Uply, where you're paying a dollar per email address, you got Zoom Info, which is like, last time I checked, it's like 15 k a year. Using LinkedIn Sales Navigator is the easiest most dirt cheap way to get thousands and thousands unlimited email addresses so you just got to scrape you would couple that with a tool called lead leaper lead leaper scrapes the email addresses that you so you, you go on linkedin sales navigator you put in a search for let's just say digital marketing agencies let's say you want to write their emails you scrape all their emails of all everyone in the entire business then you would put it into a tool called lemlist and blast out the emails. That's how you do it in bulk. And you'd use Lead Leaper to scrape those email addresses. Now, that's how you do it for LinkedIn. Here's the flow. Cold email, direct to your leads. Now, in that email template, and I've talked about this in other videos, in the email template you send out, you will not be putting any links in your emails. Nothing. You only want to have a CTA saying, would love to chat with you for 15 minutes sometime this week. Is that possible? Ask them a question. Don't put a link in there for them to book because that will reduce the deliverability of your emails to the recipients. So your email template should read something like this. Hi, Brian. Congrats on your recent position at this digital marketing agency. That's quite the accomplishment. Anyway, I write emails for digital marketing agencies and I saw that you would be a good fit potentially and would love to discuss sometime this week, maybe if you'd want to, uh, how we could maybe work together. I probably butchered, butchered that. That's the general flow it should go. It shouldn't be a super long email. You shouldn't have a freaking pair, a, a massive book. No, it should be a very, very short email, two paragraphs. You know, the first line should be calling out what you, you did some research on them, even though you got the information from LinkedIn. And then you should tell them a little bit about what you do or accomplishments that you've already done. Hopefully you have a case study. If you don't have a case study, then you kind of got to wing it for that first deal. And then at the bottom, you have a, you have a call to action saying, Hey, would you like to talk for 15 minutes this week? Simple. That's for LinkedIn. Now, if you do the Instagram approach, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Instagram and type in a hashtag. You can do hashtag coach. 
hashtag mentor, hashtag digital marketing agency, um, hashtag course selling, hashtag any business because all businesses can use email marketing services. But mainly most companies are like e-commerce stores, digital marketing agencies, coaches, consultants, mentors, course sellers. Those are the kind of niche you're probably gonna be targeting for the most part, but you still could get clients like in solar, you can do more of a physical approach. You can get you can get any business that needs their email marketing done. You can get them as a client, they'll pay you fifty to four hundred dollars per email. But usually people target the digital marketing space slash coaches, courses, whatever. So you're gonna to wanna to find people that are posting that kind of content. And then you'll go to their profile, like I'm here. Let's say I wanted to get this girl's uh, email address. I click on her name, and now I'm on desktop, so you can't see it. But most of the time, you'll be able to, if you go on mobile, so you'd look this girl up, and you'd find her email address from her mobile. You go on, you download Instagram on your phone, get her, get her email address, and that's your lead. You don't really want to DM people on Instagram. Just like you, you can get away with more DMing on LinkedIn, Instagram is a huge no no. They will ban your account in two seconds if you're not careful. You can't send a lot of DMs with Instagram. You gotta be really careful. LinkedIn is a little bit more uh, merciful, um, but you wanna get their emails for both of these methods, Instagram and LinkedIn. And you're not gonna really wanna scrape emails with Instagram because there's not a huge, really, really good way to scrape emails for Instagram compared to LinkedIn Sales Navigator. In bulk, I mean in bulk. So with Instagram, you're gonna wanna do it one by one. So this lady, I would be, okay, Elizabeth's her first name. Salone, I would have this set up. Elizabeth's her first name, and then I would format this to be, get rid of the highlighting. Uh, I get her last name, because you wanna separate the first and last name, because you're gonna use the first variable, the first name variable in your template that you're gonna be cold emailing, if you're doing a bulk. If you're doing a personalized, then you don't gotta worry about separating the first and last name. You're just gonna manually do it when you do the personalized email. But if you're doing bulk with like Lemlist, that's what I recommend you use for bulk emails or all pro web tools, one or the other, but this is a great tool to get started. I I personally use all pro web tools, it's cheaper, but Lemless has a way nicer interface. It's just whatever one you wanna do. All pro web tools, which I use, or you can use Lemless. You're gonna wanna put their, uh, separate their first and last name if you're doing bulk. If you're not doing bulk, you don't need to do that. Then you put their email that you just got and then you put the social media link. So I would copy her, her social media link. I would put it right here. So that I can go find her quickly if I ever like forget. Because I'm going to be doing a huge list of emails. And this is all about outreach. That's the game. Of the, that's, that's what this game is. It's outreach to get clients. With, if you want copywriting clients, you got to do the outreach. You don't just sit back, throw up a website, and wait for people to find you. It's not going to work. It will work in the future when you've built up your brand. But you're, you're in the beginning. You have no... No clients at all, no one knows you. You've got to go out and get the eyeballs to see you. Now, what I would do, um, let's go back to that diagram. So you got LinkedIn and Instagram. They have the same exact flow. You get the emails, you email them to the leads, the lead responds to you. Now, if a lot of the times the leads won't respond to you, and what they'll do is they'll take the domain names. So let's just say I was sending from Let's just use my domain for example, jesse at coachingsuperiority.com. They would take that coachingsuperiority.com, put it into the URL, and just Google it or, you know, put that in their Chrome browser, and they would come to my website. I'd have a one page website set up for that. Um, now, but what you want to do, instead of having jesse at coachingsuperiority.com, you want to have a burner domain. So it'd be like jesse, so your domain name would be coaching superiority one.com or two.com throw something in that domain name. you got to buy it it's an extra expense but you've got to do this if you don't want you don't want to burn your main domain account so when they see coaching superiority one.com if they put that in their url browser you would have it set up with the tags to redirect to coaching superiority.com that's how you you get around that so you have the burner domain which would be coaching superiority one.com let's just put this in here so you can see it I'm sorry, one would go here. And this would be my main domain. Boom. So if they put coachingsuperiority1.com into their browser, it would redirect to coachingsuperiority.com. That's how you want to set it up. So that if and when you Google ends up, you know, blacklisting your coachingsuperiority1.com, you still have the coachingsuperiority1.com clean and free. Um, now, 
if they put that URL in and they come to your website, you should have a one page website. At the top, it should say exactly what you do. Then you should have a case study below that if you can. Hopefully you can get a case study. If you don't have a case study, you can still get by. You just gotta get that first case study. It'll help conversions dramatically. You only need one case study. At the bottom of that page, it'll have a book call link. And that's what this is, the calendar. So if they respond to your email over here though, you would obviously keep talking with them via what they responded to you, get them to a calendar. It's all about getting to a calendar, calendar, calendar. Then you would have already set up on your calendar with if you use one sub or you use Calendly, you'll have the phone or Zoom integrated with it. Phone is usually standard, so that's what you should start with. But the Zoom makes it, you're gonna, you're gonna increase your conversion rates when you have Zoom integrated. But setting up Zoom to link up with Calendly or one side is kind of a pain in the ass. But you will increase conversion rates. When you're starting out, you really don't need Zoom. You can just use phone. And you will wanna pay for the lowest form of Zoom. Otherwise, the, the meetings will get cut off at, uh, I think it's 40 minutes. So if you, if you don't have the paid version, they will cut off at 40 minutes. It's kind of awkward if you're in the middle of a sales call with a, with a client and all of a sudden you can uh, finish the call because the Zoom's gonna run out. So you wanna start with phone, maybe get a first deal or two, and then start using Zoom thereafter because you will increase your conversion rates. I've sold well over a million dollars on the internet. I know I've been on plenty of sales calls. Zoom converts better than phone every day of the freaking week. When they see you face to face and you can see their objections, you can see why they're not you know, buying, or you can see you can see a lot from their face, you can you know, hone in your messaging to make them buy. But if you're on the phone, you can't see shit. And they could be literally in on the toilet and you wouldn't know any better. And they could be telling you, oh, I can't buy right now, I gotta think about it. Well, me meanwhile, they're on the toilet. <laughs> um, and then finally the purchase, obviously the purchase. Now, in the purchase, you can either do QuickBooks or you can do a Stripe. Uh, you just send an invoice with QuickBooks or if you're doing Stripe, you send them a link, they pay via link. You can literally send them the link right on the call. Hey, here's my link to pay your first payment for the, for the work. Um, and then also too, if you're brand new, you have no case studies and it gets to that, sometimes the client will be like, hey, do you have any past work you could show me? And a lot of times when you're doing email copywriting, they will want to see past work. So you should, what you should do is, you can either say to them, hey, yeah, I can show you some of my past work, uh, but I don't have to dig it up and I'll send that to you right after this call. Boom, work your ass off and write up three samples right after that call quickly. Um, or you could have them already written up beforehand if you want, that's okay. But you're gonna really, I would recommend you write them up beforehand, but if you're really just trying to like get shit done and like figure stuff out as it happens, Tell them you'll get the email templates to them after the call, knock them out after the call, send them to them in a Google Doc. So you just would put all that, the, the, the wording in a Google Doc, share it with the client, the potential client. They'll read it and tell you if they like it. And you can also give them a free trial. Like, hey, we'll give you seven days free trial. You don't have to pay anything. And then after that, um, we will work for the money, obviously. Or instead of a free trial, you can also do, hey, if you don't like the work after seven days, you won't you won't pay for that first week. So you'll pay us up front, but we'll refund you if you don't like that first seven days. That's a little bit better of an offer for you because you're protecting yourself. You're actually getting paid up front. Um, it's a little less attractive to the client because they have to still pay. Um, but it's all about where you're at. If you're unconfident in yourself and they start questioning your ability and then you like pass work examples, then you can give them a full seven day free trial. If they're not really that picky, then, in this, but they're still a little bit hesitant, then give them a, a refund for seven days. And if they don't give a shit and they just think that you're all that and you look apart, you have like all of your social media prof profiles dialed in, you have everything 100% badass, then don't mention any free trial or any, any of that stuff. Get paid and go right to work. Don't mention free trials, don't mention refunds, nothing like that. Um, now this third method, so you got the LinkedIn, you got the Instagram, the third method is Facebook. This is by far the easiest way to get clients, um, but it's not the most predictable. You kinda gotta get creative with it, but it's the easiest way because you don't gotta do any cold email. All right, so let's just say you were in a group like this. I'm already in this group, um, but let's just say you got into coaches, experts, course creators, you're in this group, right? Now, what you'd wanna do, there's two ways, I got it right on here. You're either gonna do a Facebook post you have to optimize your profile, by the way, because people are gonna associate you with your Facebook profile. This is where you're reaching out with, this is your Facebook profile. So you gotta have this optimized. These ones, 
you're doing cold email, you really don't have to have them as optimized as, as a Facebook profile. And on the Facebook profile, you just have a banner, like email copywriter, um, and then that's pretty much all you need. It's like a banner, email copywriter, a good profile picture of yourself, make yourself look like a badass, and you're good to go. That's really all you need. Um, you could even have a link to this page right here in your profile on Facebook if you want. Um, this will look more credible, even though you're gonna be mostly getting the, the booking, you're gonna be mostly doing all the business in Messenger. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to this group, and you're gonna look at the rules. You're gonna figure out, are you even allowed to post in this group? Sometimes you gotta dig around. I heard this. Be kind of courteous, no hate speech or bullying. Contribute when possible, enjoy. So you kind of can pitch in this group. Um, so you'd basically, you'd either do a post where you'd be like, hey, what what do you struggle with most? We're talking about a Facebook post in that group. You go into this group and you post this. So right here, boom. And I would recommend you do like a pink one. Do like a purple one, stands out. Like, hey, blah, 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 blah. And I would say, hey, what do you find the most difficult with your copywriters? Or um, what, do, what do you find is the most, what do you look for in a copywriter, an email copywriter? And then all these coaches and experts are gonna respond, or a lot of them will. And then you start to talk with them in the, in the DMs. It's so like you'd, you'd be in here, you know, talking to them. And then they would start checking out your profile as well as you would kind of try to lead them toward a call. Are you looking for email copywriting? Is it not working out for you right now? And then you you know pitch your service. I've had plenty of copywriters come into my posts that I've just posted on my own profile. They're my friends. You can become friends with, with coaches, become friends on Facebook and see what they're posting and then comment on their posts. But this Facebook group's a really good way to get in front of a lot of coaches all at the same time. But you can, you know, you can become friends with all these coaches too. And then, you know, start posting on their their stuff on their actual personal, so they post on their personal page, but the group method's the fastest way. You just post a, a quick post. What are you looking for in an email copywriter? What makes a good email copywriter for you? People start talking to you, and those might, those might, those might not be the best uh, strategy, because I personally do not use this method that much. I've used it a little bit, but not much. I'm mainly cold email guy. <laughs> but uh, you figure out, okay, what are these people, who's responding to my message? Who's responding to my post? And then you get them to want to talk to you in the DMs. Would love to connect. I'll shoot you a DM. I'll shoot you. And then you send them a friend request, shoot them a DM. Then you're in the DMs with them. And then you, you keep the conversation going. And then eventually you pitch them a, you know, a call. I would love, I mean, what you're doing with your agency, we write for the agencies all the time. We'd love to chat with you on how we can write for your agency. Or, you know, you're a coach and we, we already write for coaches and we, we've done this for our top client and we made him $15,000 last month just writing simple copies, simple emails for him daily. So you would tailor the message for the specific, always tailor your message to the specific person you're talking to. There's no template. There's no anything, that's, there's no template. If anyone's selling you a template, it's not real. You, it can get you pretty close, but you have to tailor the messaging for each person you're talking to. And then you would ultimately send them the book of call link in messenger, they get the calendar, you get on a phone or zoom, they buy from you. And with email copywriting, you really don't need that many clients to make a full-time income, to make a lot of money because um, it's a lot of repeat business. They want those daily broadcast emails sent out. So you're not gonna, you're only gonna need like, a, like three clients and you're making like 10K a month. As long as you're pricing yourself high enough. If you're not pricing yourself high enough, then yeah, you're, you're gonna need more clients. But it's all about, you know, pricing comes in, I'm, pricing's for a different video. Pricing's more for like how confident you are in asking for that much money. If you're not confident, you're just starting out, you're gonna to wanna to charge less. Charge right around the 50 to $75 per email range. Um, but if you're more confident, you can charge a lot more, $300 an email. But it's all about where you're at. And you know, there's no one size fits all for any of this. All of this is kind of like do it at your own pace. I've had clients that I've gotten completely separate of this method. Anyway guys, hope you found massive value in this video. Make sure to check out my links in my description. Um, I basically, you know, link to all the, the best ways that I've used to make over a million dollars on the internet. So definitely check those links out. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification to make sure you get notified of all my upcoming videos and all the make money methods that I personally use and recommend you should start using. 
And again, definitely join the Facebook group. You're gonna get a ton of value in there. That group's specifically for coaches, copywriters, and course creators. Take care.